A special shout out to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this interview with Ezra Miller. First of all, bro, thank you so much for having me here, man. Dude, F- flew across you're the world. welcome here. Just <laughs> please help yourself to anything you see. Uh, if you want to grab some equipment on your way out. Oh, I might do that. Yeah, I can sure. fit it in my uh, suitcase. Delicious snack. A long flight over here, but dude, it's worth it to sit next to you. And uh, congratulations on everything that's happened in your career, man. Thank you. Really, really cool. You too. Oh, dude, <laughs> you don't even know what's happened in my career. I know that you are a social influencer <laughs> oh, no, really. because that's what they told me. Oh. Well done, guys. Thank you yes. so much for that. Fantastic Beast is a great addition to the uh, to the Wizarding World universe. What can fans come to expect in the next installment, Crimes of Grindelwald? Awesomeness, horror, delight, humor, wonder, tragedy, oh. crisis, depth, fascination, things like this. That's nice. Words like that. Did you pull this all out of the thesaurus, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, there's a dictionary down there. Yeah, yeah. There's a thesaurus, there's a thesaurus over there. <laughs> And we, um, you know, then you just have to remember how to speak, <laughs> which is the big challenge. Well, your character, we saw a very troubled Credence Bearbone uh, in the first movie. Yes, you'll continue to see one. <laughs> well, what are we going to see in the next installment from your character? Uh, what's, what's your character like in his development in this next one? Yeah, well, certain things change, certain things remain the same. I mean, Credence, you know, as a person, as we know, with a deeply troubled history, and, and unfortunately, you know, what you experience in your young life is stuff you've got to work with through the rest of your life. And I think that's, uh, Credence is no exception. He, he has more awareness mm-hmm. of his situation than he did in the first one. That, that alters things a lot. So instead of being unaware of what's going on, confused, no knowledge of who he is um, or what he's capable of or what lives inside him, uh, now he knows and there's the weight, the responsibility Mm. that comes with that knowledge. And it's scary, I think, because he had to sort of get rid of all of the ideas that he had about who he was or who he was supposed to be, because he discovered that all of that was rooted uh, in falsehood. Mm. He's literally, perhaps despite his intentions, but what lives inside him uh, has murdered his past, you know? So now he's liberated from Mm. that past, but he's also freaked out because now he has to figure out who he is and he has no idea and he's sort of a a ticking clock you know he's got this thing inside him that that that's gonna kill him if he can't figure it out and and part of that has to do with his identity so it's a messed up situation to be in you know dude it was how do you prepare for that so because your character sounds like you can't prepare he's very different from the first you know seeing of him compared to this movie sure which is so fun by the way and it's the 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 first time i i've really ever gotten to do that is um to play a character uh over the course of two films in between making these two films i got to let Credence live his life sort of between the last frame we see of him and the first one we see in the second film so there were times when I was traveling or traveling through Europe and I would just travel as Credence no way you know or I'd go to a to a pub as Credence Uh, this actually happened one time where I went to a pub as Credence and the waiter he was deeply deeply worried for me people often have this reaction because Credence there's a, a a pain yeah. uh, that you can sort of see and feel in him. And so often when I would embody him in the real world, um, just sort of squinting my eyes and yeah. pretending it was the 20s, um, <laughs> uh, uh, and people would be like, you know, are you okay? Is there anything I can do? For you? you know what I mean? And of course, Credence doesn't know how to really handle that. Um, so that's just so much fun. So then in saying in all that, what were your favorite scenes to film during production like did you love the character building scenes or did you enjoy the the action scenes what were your favorite parts yeah you know what i love about because that's such a great question is like what's character driven what's action based and what i love about working on these movies Mm -hmm. is that you rarely find one without the other Mm -hmm. and i think what's beautiful about rowling's magical world uh is that even every every spell every moment of action it actually has huge human personal implications. The spells represent represent ideas. You know, if you want to cause someone pain, if you want to um, 
make someone happy, if you want to lift someone off the ground. I mean, it's a, it's a huge movie, you know what I mean? It's huge and the effects are incredible and we're on these, you know, these massive set pieces and when we get to the work, it's all very quiet and very focused, and it's you know it's like we're uh, you know it's like we're working on a, a, a Shakespeare play or right. something with the amount of attention we're paying to the details of these people's feelings and their connections. And, and I want to build on that in a second, but just before we do that, you're a massive fanboy. Yeah, for real. And you're a part of like two massive pop culture franchises. Yeah, right? two of my favorites too. Like two, <laughs> two, two of my all-time favorites. So it's. Feeling very good, Jaden. So, Feeling very good. So very, very delighted. Did you expect, like, when you started studying acting, uh, when you started out in your young career, did, was this the goal? Was this the dream? And yeah, this goal preceded <laughs> the other goals. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? I just wanted to be a wizard and a superhero. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And then I was like, I guess I, I just want to engage in performance. Mm -hmm. And then the just fantastic irony of having that bring me back around to wizard and superhero it's affirming, mm. you know what I mean? It looks great. It in your says CV to as me, well. <laughs> it's life saying to me, it's okay that you're a nerd, man. And I'm like, thank you, life. I appreciate that. <laughs> not everyone says that. Back in the day, it was like, you know, we used to get beat up for being a nerd, and now the cool kids want to be nerds and, and be a part of it. It's just, it's the way of the world. And it's so cool that you have people like yourself that are embracing it and, and saying, like, it's cool. I know. Yeah, the geek shall inherit the earth, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, I just want to know, during the movie, do you get any wanding action during this movie? I can't tell you if I get ah. a wand. Everyone tries to sneak it in, you know what I mean? <laughs> they know I didn't have a wand, they know I was upset about not having a wand, you know? I might still be upset about not having a wand. I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you. All I know is that there's wandless magic too. Like house elves, they don't have wands. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What would even happen if you gave a house a wand? They'd <laughs> crack the imagine? earth in half. <laughs> yeah. They're so powerful, even without one. I've got some ones. Uh, Newt. Yeah. Newt ones. That's right. And I was hoping that you could show me now, whether or not you don't do it in the movie, but I'm sure offset you've uh, you know practice or, or, or learn some skills. I was hoping that you could show me how to wave a wand and how to cast a spell. Look, I, look, I, I think, I think uh, with anything like this, you've gotta find the way that feels, mm. the way that feels right to you. Right. So, a lot of people rock, you know, people have different styles. I know, you got like you the pencil style. Yeah, pencil style, I don't know about pencil. You got the police flashlight style. Yeah, I've never seen that, I've never seen, I'm into that. <laughs> I like the idea of someone having like a primal wand style. But yeah, but it, normally people are just holding it like this. And then I think you want to feel, you know, you want to feel that magical energy move through your body. You want to let it, oh. and you want to find flicks of the wrist. That's right. And like movements of the torso and the shoulder. I think you want to, you know, pay attention to your target. Okay. I'm looking at that metal yeah. thing okay, yeah, right yeah. there. Do you do you it know? like with a thumb lead or do you do like a point or? Uh, yeah, different styles. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how to do you, you know? Ah. And I can't necessarily even reveal how I do me. Ah. If I were to ever get a wand, you know? I'd probably do some crazy stuff that people have <laughs> never seen before. If you were to attend Hogwarts, what house do you reckon you'd be sorted into? Gryffindor, bro. Yeah. What? As in, that's what you would you, want to be in? Or that's it? what the whole- Can't you tell Well, them? I- I, I own like a lot what of What does the sorting hat within you uh, say? Well, I would like to be in Gryffindor, but when, when doing the test, I was put into Ravenclaw. And, and that's fine. Like, after looking up all the characteristics and stuff. Ravenclaw's amazing. Yeah. You're I a smart so. guy, you know? Well, I don't know how true that is. That's why I was a bit, uh, you know, unsure why I was well, put into that one. But you've got to, you've <laughs> got to trust, you know? You've got to trust it. But then again, it's like, unless you really, here's how I look at it. Yeah. Unless you really put on a hat, and it sang a song to introduce itself. Yeah, yeah. And then it like muttered for a while into your ear and then it screamed out the name of the house you were in. So I can still wear my Gryffindor gear is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 you know, you know. Let me draw this memory from your oh, brain. Oh, dude. I'll drop it in this Look pencil. Dude. <laughs> dude, well, Ezra, man, thank you so much for having me. All the best with the, with the movie and the rest of your career. I appreciate yes, your time. Yes, and you too. Thanks, man. Thank you.